What's happening, my friends? I'm your host, Fisher Columbus, and so we got a new mystery tackle box. We're gonna jump in the truck, go inside the box, see what we got. Now, remember, I did uh, switch out my boxes, uh, so this doo -doo. all right, unlocked doo -doo. key. Gotta stay uh, warm out here in these cold days. Be right back. All right, so uh, what was I saying? We switched to the uh, the trout box this month because of an event I got coming up with my son where we're going to go out to a camp in May. And uh, so we're going to use this next couple of months to stock up on some trout baits. I got more bass baits than one person should own. So it is that. So let's get into the box. Got the trusty dusty pocket knife. Dusty is the keyword. Do it as one handed so I can. Uh, Hold on to you guys before I stick you in the standard phone mount. Because yes, I do these on some cameras, but today we're doing it on the phone because that's what I have. Easy sack. <laughs> so hard to do one-handed. All right. So let's crack it open and see what we got in the box here. Man, they don't make this easy for a one-handed man. All right, so there we go. There's our box. Still got the, uh, they use the same box, so still got the uh, measurements on there for fish size. And let's find our card. Card, card, card. Maybe there's no card. we go this is all right so we got one two three four five six items and our most expensive item is 959 it's pretty expensive for a trout bait but it's a, a money minnow by yum that's a pretty big bait for a trout bait two and a half inches but it'll be quite the task getting the trout to eat something that big all right next we got the catch co minnow another mystery tackle box product so we got uh, this kind of reminds me of their version of the gulp minnow so we'll throw some scent into this bag because i'm pretty confident that there's no scent in here No, no sense. Not that I can detect anyway. But it uh, looks like we got about a 10 pack of Ketchco Pro Series minnows. Gulp like minnows. All right, that one retailed for $349. Next up, we got the Track Down Micro Crawl. All right, so this is probably. It's by Rebel, really famous lure maker, home of the Rebel Pop R. And this is a single hook jerk bait. I'm sorry, not a jerk bait, crank bait. Mini micro crank bait, micro critters. So pretty cool. Um, probably my favorite bait out of the bag so far, but uh, we'll see how it works. And that one retails for. $3.99. Probably would not pay that much for it. Next we have a classic, uh, and that is a Roadrunner. Roadrunner. Classic underspin. Micro-sized. A little tiny willow blade on there. Little willow blade. Alright, this is a sixteenth of an ounce, size 6 hook. And uh, just a typical crappie tube jig. All right, let's get to the last few baits. Oh, let me see. Roadrunner was 325. The next we got the Maggot Grub from Eagle One Bait Company. And this, uh, this one's pretty cool. Um, blue bag. Let's shake some of these down real quick. And they literally look like wax worms. So that's pretty cool. 
pretty exciting little bait. And this is uh, out of Bay City, Michigan. Made in the USA. We gotta love the made in the USA stuff. And last but not least is some Zone Locks. Zone Lock, it's in the bend hook. And we got a 10 pack of size four Aberdeen hooks. Pow pow. Aberdeen hooks uh, are your classic straight shank fishing hook. What every one of us grew up on as a kid, fishing for our bluegill and panfish. And I don't know what the sticker represents this month. It almost kind of looks like a biospawn sticker. But uh, let's see if there's any idea in the little booklet. So, booklet. I don't like the new paper books. I'll just, I guess, express that. This is about the fourth or fifth month that they've had these. And I'm not a fan of these little paper insert style books. I'd rather go back to the little magazine. Um, please, MTB. All right. The one good thing about these, I guess, is they can customize them. They just print them based on what box you get. Because when I used to get the pre-printed colorful ones, uh, they were all the same magazine no matter what box I got, whether I got the catfish box or whether I got the other box. So that's okay. Uh, looks like we got a little crossword puzzle in here to help Carl, uh, the KBD, find his uh, words. And then he's got some uh, 10, 11 excuses to skip work and go fishing. Nothing yet about actual fishing. Know your crankbaits, lipless versus build crankbaits 101. And uh, when to use a spinner bait, spinning versus a bait casting reel. Gosh, yeah, I disappeared there. So, not a lot of useful information in the magazine anymore. Um, maybe that's why I don't like them so much. But a couple different contests. Let me give you a picture of those. Contest right there, share a pick, do the slam, review a bait online. All right, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you don't mind. Other than that, we will see you on the next adventure, which will be hopefully soon getting out on the water, which is starting to unfall and catching some little big fish. All right, guys, have a good one. Talk to you later. As always, saving the opportunity to itself. Get out there and fish more.